Like and subscribe. What made the high school legend become a legend? We had a teacher who was infamous for not letting you go to the bathroom no matter what. I mean so much, so that if you accidentally started your period in class, she'd make you wait. This happened. So there was a girl who we'll call Katie in class, who tended to be a bit of a troublemaker. Katie hated that teacher, because she begged to go to the bathroom, and got shut down every time. At the end of the year, Katie asked one more time, to go to the bathroom, the teacher said no. Katie asked another time 5 minutes later. The teacher said no again. 5 minutes after that, Katie asked again, but said that the teacher was not going to like what happened, if the teacher didn't let her go. The teacher hit the roof, and said that, if she said one more thing, Katie would be sent to the principal. Katie shrugged and said this is on you, then, an and on her seat, right where she was. The teacher sent her to the principal, who called her parents, one of which was a urologist. Her father yelled at the principal. The teacher ended up in deep. According to other kids, she never denied another kid the bathroom again. Katie was a I'm legend. The senior class was gathered in the gym for a pep rally type event, but there weren't any planned events, so we students were getting bored and restless. In an effort to engage us, teachers offered to let kids tell jokes into the microphone. The very first guy that goes to the microphone triumphantly asks, how deep are we gonna geo, men? And every male is a stance shouted back balls deep. How deep? Balls deep. The call and response quickly ended when the teachers swarmed him and took away the microphone. Jokes were over for the day. Later in the year they hold another senior event in the gym, but instead of jokes they let kids sing karaoke. Fun. Until the microphone goes missing between songs. Everyone is seated in the stands when that same guy stands up just laughing his <laughs> off because someone handed him the microphone. The teachers say, don't. And he just keeps laughing. He manages to ask a single question into the microphone. How deep? For the first time I understood school pride as 900 students, even the girls, joined in shouting balls deep. Legend. Not my story, but my friends. My buddy went to a military boarding school for high school. Very strict and regimented, with little to no tolerance for misbehavior. Multiple years of this environment must have pushed someone off the deep end, because during my buddy's second year, someone started ting in urinals. Big sloppy shameless tickies. At least once a month for three years, these turds would appear. The culprit became known as the Phantom. Dare, and despite the efforts of a task force specifically assembled to put an end to the nefarious poops, the Phantom. Ter was never captured. This person became a legend at this boarding school because of their stealth, conviction, and utter lack of shame. My buddy kept in touch with one of his instructors over the years and found out years later that a copycat. Ter had briefly popped up. But he was discovered and expelled after only a couple dickies. He lacked the finesse of the mysterious original. One of my friends throughout school was armor punk guy. He always wore camo clothing, a Jane vest, chains, military boots, and had spiked hair that Wayne Static would approve of. Most people saw my friend as just this weirdo, but knew not to screw with him. He was actually a really cool dude, and he got me hooked on Pink Floyd and Zeppelin early on. One day in high school, the staff arranged a fun fling, or whatever the hell they called it. It was basically a few amusement park attractions like the arcade slash skill booths and the rock wall climbing tower. The tower had three sides each with their own tether, must have been 40 minus 50 tall. Most kids couldn't make it halfway up. My friend went over and started climbing before the attendant could get him fitted with a harness. He was about 10 feet up, staff were yelling at him. He yelled back asterisk 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 what's that? You want me to try it only using my arms? Asterisk backslash, Wilford Brimley voice, and ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly how it happened. 
he managed to get himself to the friggin top of this climbing wall only using his arms, no harness, and then proceeded to sit at the top taunting every one carrot, before every redditor throws a fit like they always do, yeah I'm sure he used a foot here and there to stabilize, but he was doing the vast majority of the work with his arm slash hands. They called the fire department, to come get him down. He got suspended, and didn't really care. That was around 20 years ago now. Colombian kid was getting bullied, until he kicked his bully upside the head big time. That little <laughs> of a bully didn't know Carlos, the Colombian, competed in Taekwondo tournaments at the national level for Colombia. Edit, spelling. I almost forgot, I have another one. Our rap English teacher went out on maternity leave, and we got a sub who did not give a single <laughs> We were studying Romeo and Juliet, and she just decided to throw on the 1968 Zephyr Rally film version. She just brought out a book and started reading. Well, she didn't think that out too well, because Juliet gets topless in that one. Some little <laughs> said man, I didn't get that scene, could we rewind it? She barely looked up. Totally missed the boobs. Five whole students pulled this, including a girl, before she noticed. Those five were gods in the school for a little bit. I was on one of those televised quiz shows on a local small market station. The host was this bearded guy, who would sport a cowboy hat, and a suede jacket with the leather patches. Pure class. The question was the state of Kentucky was recently overtaken by Nevada as the national leader of this dubious habit. No one bust, so at the last second I went in, and said into family relationships, I like incest. The host just turned bright red, and was like in oh 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 oh. I got yelled at a little bit off stage, but when I got back, to school I was a made man. And hey, people watch public TV. Someone installed games onto the school's server. There were a bunch of N64 emulators, Peggle, and some other games. But then there were also LAN games, that could be played against anyone slash everyone in the school including Counter-Strike and Halo. Sometimes yeah would go on and Thorell would be no one, other times Thorell would be 10v10 fight in Blood Gulch. It lasted at least 10 years, but don't know if it has been taken down since. There was this one sophomore who had a goose for a pet. He lived kinda close, so he could walk to school, and he'd always let his goose walk with him. We all called him Goose, and he was a really nice guy to hang with, even the teachers liked petting his goose. One time he was at school when one of the teachers who wasn't chill with his pet came out, and started yelling at him about the goose, and he got a detention somehow. The next day, the same teacher wasn't in class and we all knew what happened to her. We find out at a small assembly at the end of the day, that Goose had let his goose run around the classroom last night, and apparently the teacher was still there grading, and got a beak to the head. No one messed with him for the rest of school year. Peace was never an option. The teacher should have known better. Two students got suspended my senior year for constructing a gin still in their lockers. It was discovered before the first batch was created, but they got chemistry scholarships out of it. She didn't become legendary until after high school. Senior year prom queen, very active in Christian clubs on campus, student leader of the dance team, always had a reputation for being a goody goody and very popular because of her looks, went to New York after high school to make it on Broadway, didn't happen. Two years later moved to Las Vegas, and became a top porn star. Needless to say, very legendary at high school reunions. Some dude dropped her XXL turd Ranosaurus bigger than my <laughs> forearm. Thing was at least 12 inches long and 3. 5 inch thick. Looked like a grown silverback gorilla with serious constipation pinched loaf in that boar crapper. The first guy to see it was a small Latino kid who came into class laughing and was like, you owe someone tuck a huge sheet in the bathroom, it was like a big burrito man. Naturally this lead to most of the schoolers male population, to crowd into the bathroom to witness the monster. Someone even tried flushing it but the <laughs> thing did not budge. Janitorial staff had to shut down the bathroom for most of the day after that. TLDR, 
Godzilla Deki puts bathroom out of commission, and becomes local legend. A simple poop knife would have solved that problem. Not school legends, but rather became known as school heads. A couple of kids decided one night to enter the school and kill all the chickens and head with one of the cows. An actual school legend was a guy who got access to a teacher's laptop and managed to copy all the answers for the final math tests for all the kids in their last year of high school. Unfortunately his efforts were in vain as another student told the teachers about this and the kid got expelled. He did end up landing a job at job last I heard though. So my school was essentially divided into a middle school and a high school, in different locations, but very much one school. When you finished year 9 you started year 10th at the upper slash high school. So we were in year 9 and this one kid had somehow got into beef with this kid in year 11th, so from the upper slash high school. A year 9 kid is asterisk s-u-p-p-o-s-e-d asterisk to be what? 13 or 14. And a year 11th kid is 15 or 16. So there was a sizable age gap between these two guys. I don't actually know how these two managed to get into beef being at two different locations, but they managed it, and the year 11th kid was like Friday after school I'm gonna come down to your middle school and beat the <laughs> out of you. Year 9 kid was like no problem buddy. So the day comes, and everyone's getting ready for this fight. It's all anybody talks about all day. School is done and everybody gathers to see what happens. Teachers have caught wind of what's going down are there posted at the gates holding the year 11th kid back. The year 9 kid finds out that his opponent is being prevented from entering the school ground so what does he do? He runs a cool 150 meters towards the gate, knocking people over left and right. There was a huge crowd around both guys trying to defuse the situation before ripping his shirt off like God. Hulk Hogan and beating the ever loving out of the year 11th kid. He raggled that dude so god. But. Nobody ever. Ed with him again. People were legit terrified of him. The thing that made it so legendary is. That the older kid thought he was hot. Came down to the school. Like he was gonna do something. And this kid whips his shirt off like a. I'm superhero and wrecks him. What I will add. Is that the year 9 kid was supernaturally strong. It didn't make any sense. He was strong in a way that seemed odd. We had a weight room and he could put up way more weight than anyone else. He would play a fight with teachers and manhandle them. He had transferred in from a school in Jamaica so at the time of the fight nobody knew he was that strong. And also looking back there's a good chance he was like 17 lol. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck.